Okay. So I am uh, just about ready to start installing my new parts. I just kind of wanted to show you um, the seal it has this inner ring. It's metal. And that it's got rubber on the inside of it and it fits over uh, that ridge on the spindle um, it fits pretty tight um, you'll have to use a small pry bar to get that off and um, this this hole right here is where the ABS sensor was located okay <clears throat> it just pushes out there's nothing really that holds that thing in there that's what it looks like um, and you just push it back the new one just pushes right back through that hole and I'll show you uh, when I put it back together about how much of it needs to be uh, sticking out and um, it has a really long cord um, it comes out of there and it has a ton of zip ties one of them is wrapped here it's zip tied here then it comes up this this metal flange and is zip tied that way and then it jumps from here, there, over to this airline. And it's got little keepers all the way down in. And it jumps off to this, to this junction box of the, the airline. Comes through these zip ties. And then goes in this hole in the frame. And then goes on the inside of the frame all along till about right here on the inside of the frame and it, it's got a plug okay. so I've already got it all the zip ties loose inside there it's just a simple two prong plug uh, it's pretty obvious on the inside of the frame and I'm not going to lie to you this thing's it's pretty pretty hard to get to Okay, so it's a, it's a long cord. Um, over here is the, the old seal that I have to take out. I'm just going to get a pry bar in there and pop it out. This is the toner ring for that ABS sensor. That's what it reads and tells if the wheel is um, locked up or not. And uh, every one of these ports was clogged up with grease from the wheel seal leaking which is probably why I was having an ABS light don't know for sure but it's a very good chance that that's probably all that was wrong with it I'm gonna go ahead and replace the sensor anyway but anyway I'll clean this up um, with some brake parts cleaner and um, clean the inside of the drum as good as you can I mean it's it's full of grease, right? So um, I just make sure I get, you know, wherever the, the brake pad is going to be rubbing on the drum. That needs to be relatively clean, free of grease. Anyway, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start uh, putting this back together, and uh, I'll uh, get back with you when I get it a little further along. Okay, so I've got the ABS sensor installed, and that's about the amount that you want it to, to be uh, protruding out of the housing. And it just pushes in and pushes out. 
Um, I'm going to attempt to get underneath and show you about show you where where the plug is. Okay, this is the end of the plug. It just zip ties uh, in, on the frame rail inside of the frame rail. Okay, I have the drum back on, the two huge nuts on the end of the axle, and I've got the mating surface cleaned up for the cap. to put the gasket on it and some RTV and tighten that up. Got the uh, wire for the ABS sensor routed. Okay, wish me luck. Okay guys, I'm about to wrap this up. Um, just got to put the caps on those lug nuts and uh, torque the lug nuts. Um, so, just to summarize this, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is a job. Um, don't attempt it unless you have the the tools to do it with. Um, it'd be nice if you had a helper. I did not, but I managed. Um, anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, the only thing I can probably give you as far as a tip would be the zip ties of all things. Be careful where you put them make it to where you can get to them to cut them if you need to go back in and do other repairs um, zip ties are a mechanics best friend or they can be a mechanics worst enemy um, I spent a lot of time just trying to cut cut zip ties that were put in places that you couldn't get anything into to cut them um, so just be mindful of where you place zip ties. Um, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. And have a good day.